The Nashville Soundbite presents This Week in Country Music, July 11th through July 17th. Six years ago in 2015, Casey Musgraves topped the Billboard Country Albums chart with pageant material. Casey talked about her music at the time. All I've ever wanted to do for myself is work towards achieving total musical freedom and um, I'm on my way to doing that. I'm always going to evolve and change and, and hopefully grow as an artist. Eight years ago, in 2013, Jason Aldean became the first country artist to headline at Boston's Fenway Park. He said of his two loves. To take two things that, that I'm that passionate about, music and baseball, and sort of be able to combine them into, into one thing, playing my shows at Fenway, I mean, it's, you know, I don't know, it, it's kind of a, a way to take two things that I really care about, and kind of put them together and, and accomplish, you know, I'm, I'm playing Fenway Park, not necessarily as a baseball player, but uh, as a musician, which I never thought I'd do. So, you know, it's, it's just another one of those proud moments, you know, of, of things that you know, you know, not everybody gets a chance to experience that. 23 years ago in 1998, Clint Black went number one with the shoes you're wearing. Seven years earlier, he married his wife, Lisa Hartman. Clint talks about his wife of 30 years. First of all, we fell in love. Second of all, we knew that uh, that wasn't enough to last a lifetime and uh, that we intended to grow together. And that takes work. You have to pay attention. You have to know when you've offended or hurt your mate's feelings or conf confused your mate. And so Roy Rogers told me uh, when he found out we were getting married, he said, I'll give you one piece of advice. Don't ever go to bed angry. And that's key. That's critical. And I don't think it gets enough credit. 45 years ago in 1976, Luke Bryan was born in Leesburg, Georgia with the country music destiny. A few years back, Luke told us about standing out in the music business. I feel it's so important to dive into the business, you can't always stand out right off the bat. You know, with me, I kind of had to find my niche it where I, I learned my lane. The best way to stand out is get in front of crowds and try your music in front of people and see how they react. And if you're not getting a reaction from a song, it means that it's probably not that good and go back to the drawing board. 